What's up guys, uh, welcome back to the next video on learning uh, Java. My name is Kyrgyz Dan and you guys are watching my channel Coraiwood. Alright, so as we said in the next in the previous video that uh, we're gonna show you the different kinds of uh, getting user input, for example, not just a next line, but we have uh, lots of other uh, methods to get the user input. For example, we have, uh, for example, if you're gonna wanna get a Boolean, which is uh, yes and no, our positive and negative, our uh, uh, true and false. We can get a next boolean, so we can get a next boolean. If you want to get the byte, you can put a next. You can put a byte, and if you got to get the, for example, any numerical numbers. For example, we're gonna put a next double, next double. But if you gotta get, for example, the price, which is got a, say, uh, it's got a decimal, for it's got for forty-five point six seven. For example, if it's got a decimal, we can put a next float. We can put a next float. If you got we're gonna put a integer, for example, you can get a, for example, next int, next int. If you want to get very very big numbers then you can use the next double if you want to get decimal you can use this one for just the small ones you can use the next int uh, if you got an extremely long one for example if you guys work in the stock exchange you can uh, work a next long next long very very long numbers and uh, if you guys were a very very short one say for example one and two you can get a next short and uh, we already used the next uh, line so there's no need for me to say uh, next line so you there's all all of this you can uh, use it to get the user input all right so now we're gonna add our uh, for example if you want to get uh, age as i said you can uh, use the small one if you guys are gonna want to get for a very big one you can use a very big one all right so how do we gonna for example if you guys want to get a user's uh, name and age for example so how do we gonna get it now we that we know that uh, we all of, of this say uh, if the next uh, line next line is gonna take the user name for example so how do we get the user uh, say for example age you guys can get it with the next int uh, or if you guys want to go into finance you can get it with the next double our next uh, float which we're gonna see shortly so for example next int we can uh, get the user's age for example so we can uh, put it here next line int uh, my age and uh, we can put a scan obj keep in mind you can only use one scan object you can use your only one and you can keep on uh, using this one scan obj and you can uh, put a next int so next uh, int here uh, we can copy exactly the same one because uh, programmers are lazy people so good morning and uh, your age is uh, we can modify this and your uh, age is we can uh, use uh, my age here so you can use this one All right, so we're gonna run user input, and we're gonna see our uh, output. So, for example, now user is yes, Danny. We press enter. Age is thirty, for example. And uh, you can put a uh, your age is thirty if you want. Say, for example, when the user uh, put this, you can uh, prompt a message here. Say now because we didn't prompt a message, enter your name, and uh, we can put it here like this. And uh, once they get uh, user, then we can put a enter your, uh, then we can put this line because computers enter your uh, age here. Because computer reads by our program line by line, first the computer is gonna show this, uh, your name. Once the computer gets a name, then the, the computer goes ahead for the next one. So now we're gonna separate together uh, the name and age. So I'm gonna remove this, we're getting the user input. 
So now the, this part is the user's, you're getting the user's name, and this part is we're getting the user's uh, age, and this part we are outputting. So now our code is more organized now, it's easy to read. You guys can easily read very easily. So now we're getting name, we're getting age, and we're showing the message. So now if you but do like this programming, everyone's gonna be happy, happy, because uh, your program is more readable. Yeah, your name is just done. You can put your own name. Age is uh, 30, for example. And now we're gonna use this. You can use a lot of uh, other examples. Say, for example, if you wanna do your product, if you have, uh, say, some, uh, you're selling the product, and uh, you can put your uh, exactly the same ones. And uh, you can put, a, say, enter uh, product. For example price for a product for example some products are uh, very big numbers and some of them have uh, just a uh, uh, very small numbers you guys can uh, use uh, for example double because uh, some of the products have a huge number so you can use a double and uh, you can come here and say for example double and uh, what you guys want to put a uh, for example uh, say for example product or you can put a price equal to scan obj dot uh, we can get it next uh, we can get a double and uh, you can uh, put the price for example now we're going to copy this one and we can put it here uh, we can put a product price is And uh, you can put a product here. Product. All right. So now we have uh, we are using uh, next line, uh, next int, and we are using next double. So once we run, and we're gonna see our uh, program, and we're gonna see our uh, program is for example, yes, Danny, your age, for example, I'm gonna put thirty product price we're gonna put a for example 35,000 for example so that's how we're gonna use this one uh, to our APS Danny age is uh, 30 and that's how you're gonna see that's how the double behaves uh, product price is uh, 35,000 that's how you're gonna use this double so you can use it like for uh, your product for very complex programs so for for example if you're gonna put your product then you can uh, put your text as well as the next double then you're gonna put up some sort of uh, mechanism to uh, say text the text and uh, multiply it by 100 and you can get your text for the product so that's how the scanner input in uh, java works all right guys uh, this is for this video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe crywood if you guys have any question or comment, leave in the comment box. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video and bye.